it does exist. This is so cool, the A7C2. Oh, it's better than I know. Sony, you tried to bait me with that FX30, but I didn't bite because I don't need a cinema camera. Then you changed the lure and you tried to bait me again with the ZVE-1, a camera created for vloggers with some very nice features. You dangled it right in front of my nose, but I didn't bite. Now, Sony, you have gone and released the A7C2 and it is packed with new tech and great features and my eyes are big. I want so badly to hit that pre-order button on B&H Photo. But the voice of Peter McKinnon and 2023 is echoing through my head. Like literally you can't buy camera in 2023. So just like whatever you can afford, buy the best that you can afford. And that's probably going to be good enough if you have it with you and you actually try to learn it inside and out and learn technique, learn technique, learn technique, learn technique, 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 technique. Nothing will make you better unless you're out in the world using your my A7C will turn three years old in April. And in the past three years, I have learned the technique of shooting and editing raw photos. I have created my own top three cinematic shots in 8-bit video that I color graded on S-Log2. And I have literally made videos about the hidden features inside the Sony A7C, which I'm recording on right now. Plus, I've taken my camera to the Outer Banks, I've taken it on the Appalachian Trail, and I've taken it all over Pittsburgh. The A7C has taught me that in the past three years, I literally am equal parts photographer, filmmaker, a low budget, and a YouTuber. So as I look through all the new upgrades. These three upgrades on the A7C have captured my attention and they really do make me want to hit that pre-order button. The 33 megapixels is a nice upgrade, but what sparked my creativity is the five axis, seven steps. Having the ability to take a one second exposure without any camera shake really does make me want to get outside, get off my couch and capture some cool nighttime photos. Because I recently did a photo shoot at night after it had rained and I had to carry my tripod. Yes, the tripod that I have from high school still. And it was a pain. I mean, the photos looked great, but now with five axis and seven steps, I know creatively that I can leave my tripod at home and I can still capture great photos. Graduating from eight bit color to 10 bit color. Yeah, it's time to graduate because I will be getting 64 more times color and I'm ready for it. No more banding with the 8-bit, bigger dynamic range. Sony, you sold me at 10-bit 422. And the third feature to get my creativity going is S Cinetone. Goodbye S-Log2 and hello, a cinematic look without the need for post-processing. Trying to shoot an S-Log2 is a little frustrating and I have really enjoyed it while I've learned the technique of exposing, color correcting and color grading. Learn technique, learn technique, learn technique. But it is time to graduate to S Cinetone. And the fact that I can also shoot an S-Log3, I can see my S-Log skills growing to the point where maybe I create my own light and then I sell it for a dollar and get rich, rich, rich. As with all new bright, shiny lures, this camera comes with a price. Ugh. And when you're a father of four with two kids in college, this is a hard price to swallow, which is why I think I am literally going to start counting my pennies. If you're an owner of an A7C, what new feature got your attention in the A7C Mark II? Leave that comment down below and then clearly stick around for more videos about lenses and photographies. I am going to start saving for the A7C II, right? We will see you guys in the next one. 25. 50, 75.